Hi everyone, this is Juliana and today we are going to have um, an example of buying and selling um, based on your support and resistance. And I hope you still remember the topic na meron tayo before which is support and resistance kung saan you will buy near the support area and you will sell near the resistance area and then if the price broke your support that's the time that we will sell if the price broke your um resistance that's the time that we are going to buy okay so meron tayo mga rule um i'll give you an example for this one um these are the candlesticks and as you can see this is the current candlestick so dito tayo magbe-base if you're going to buy or sell so nasaan first question is nasaan si support and resistance now this will be your support and this will be your resistance but just to let you know once you start trading wala pong nakalagay ng mga lines diyan you're the one who's going to 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 put the lines or what we call your your own support and resistance now for you to be able to put your support and resistance of course you still remember the trend lines na, na nandun sa isang topic natin na kung saan there should be a confirmation na dapat yung higher high higher lows niya dapat at least three or um yeah at, at, at least three siya so for example this is your support and this is your resistance now as you can see this is the candlestick uh, this is the current candlestick and it broke the resistance. So, dun pa lang sa rule natin, if the price broke the resistance, that's the time that we are going to buy. So, nag-buy tayo dito and from here, umakyat yung price. So, profit na yan from this price up, up um, till this price. Okay? So, so, yun. So, buy tayo dyan. Okay, now, here's the thing. If the price broke the resistance, magkikreate siya ng panibagong support and resistance. Kanina, ito yung support mo, ito yung resistance mo. But right now, this will be your new support and this will be your new resistance. And as you can see here, this candlestick um, broke the resistance. That's the time that, again, we are going to buy. So, from here, we made the profit. But now, as you can see, the price here, this is near the resistance now we 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 are now ha we now have a new support and resistance ito naman ngayon na bago nating support and this will be the resistance so balik tayo dun sa rule ang rule natin is if the price is near the resistance that's the time that we are sell we are going to sell so here we are going to sell okay so tama Nag-sell tayo. So, ganun lang guys pag nag-trade. But just to let you know, this is only for beginners. I just want you to master the rule where to buy and sell. Okay? Pero, kapag pag alam mo na talaga siya, in, in real trading, meron tayong mga tinatawag na mga confirmation candles. Not because malapit siya sa sa resistance, malapit siya sa uh, as a support, and that's the time that we are going to buy or sell. Sometimes we have to wait for a confirmation candle before we make our decision or be, before we put a uh, position on our trades. Okay? So, ganun. Uh, I think that's for today. If you have questions, just comment below and I'll try to respond to you guys. Thank you!